I haven't got any more bounties for you. It's been quiet and calm since you last reported in. That's how I like it. Damn shame about Morales. She enlisted to be closer to her husband. Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Officially, I'm in charge of Bravo Company. But since General Oliver has Bravo and most of our forces here garrison, I'm free to do other things. So I work with Colonel Shu on logistics, patrols, supply lines, reinforcements, that sort of thing. Lately, it's been less about that, and more about figuring out how that information is getting leaked to raiders. It's a big base with a lot of unhappy soldiers. They get stir-crazy. Hard to separate the malcontents from the actual culprit. Later. Something I can do for you? I'm usually good with faces, but I don't think I've seen you here before. What brings you to Camp McCarran?
Could be better, I'll say that much. We set up here with our sights set on annexing New Vegas. That's a lot of resources that could do a lot of good for us. But that hasn't happened. If anything, they annexed us. They rake in the profits from our soldiers, and we're stuck protecting them from the Legion. Not exactly the plan. Now we're trying to secure the Strip and the Dam at the same time, and it's costing us. And in the meantime, General Oliver won't approve any offensive maneuvers, because he doesn't want to risk losing our positions. So we're in a holding pattern here. And Caesar's on the other side of the river, planning. It's our main base. We took it because it lets us keep an eye on the Strip, and it had already been fortified before the Great War. From here, we handle most of the logistics for our operations in Nevada. Troop allocation, supply distribution, intel. Usually, General Oliver runs the show here, but he's on his way to the dam now, so I've taken on a lot of his duties here. Unfortunately, no. In fact, the word from the ranger stations has been especially concerning lately. It sounds like they've run into overwhelming resistance, and supplies just aren't reaching them. It's been so bad, I asked Sergeant Reyes at Camp Forlorn Hope to look into it, and see how it is that things could be so fouled up there. Everything was going according to President Campbell's plan at first. We met minor resistance from local troublemakers, but our two main objectives are still contested. Mr. House controls the Strip, and he won't so much as meet with our ambassador. And we're holding Hoover Dam. But Caesar's Legion is positioning itself to overrun it. If it falls, so will New Vegas. We'd be forced to withdraw. Calm is what you have to be when people look to you. And it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. Bye. Yes, what is it? Unbelievable. That man has given us so much grief since we set up here. This may be a major turning point for us. I can't tell you how many times we thought we'd taken him out, only to have him show up again later, taking more heads off of fallen troopers. This is for the bounty. And this is from a pool me and a lot of the soldiers around the base had going. You may not be in CR, but hey, it's only fair. Bye. A little busy at the moment, but I can talk. This? The OSI lab. We don't get many visitors. The smell puts people off, I think. Nobody ever said science would smell clean and fresh. Anyway, you get used to it if you give it some time. I know, I don't sound the part. Get raised by Brahmin ranchers and you never lose the twang. Drives Hildren crazy. But I know every inch of the power grid from Hoover Dam to Shady Sands. That's what we do here. Try to optimize the power output from the dam. Some of the others are working on an agricultural project, but truth be told, they aren't making much progress. Not yet, anyway. Head researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. You mean, give you work? No, that'd be up to the administrator, Hildern. He's back there in his office. Between you and me, I don't think he ever leaves. Plenty of mercs go in to see him, though. I can't say. We're not supposed to talk about the research. Not the details. If you're interested, I'm sure he'd see you. Nice to meet you. If you need anything, I'm almost always in the lab. Hey. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? From Alice. I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. 
Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? Wonderful. Straight to it, then. Have you signed the release forms? No? Doesn't matter. We'll keep that to ourselves. Vault 22. Where to begin? Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. 